Hello, you guys doing today? My name is Issa. Welcome to Kuna Aroma Academy. And this here lesson, pretty much I'll be talking about, um, the title is Don't Cheat Yourself. Don't Cheat Yourself. And to get you to understand the, the topic, let me, let me ask you a question. For the guys who love Jordans, who love Jays, who love the wear of the Michael Jordan shoes, who, what we call the Jays. If you come to someone who loves to wear J's and you say, listen, my man, I got a nice pair of J's for you. I got a nice pair of Jordans for you. What is he going to say? How much is it? If you say, listen, those Jordans, they uh, $50, two things going to come to his mind. The first one is they fake or um, why are you selling them so cheap? Why are you selling these good quality shoes so cheap? So likewise, when you sell... Uh, the Dram Roll-On Good Quality Oil for just $3? The same scent you can get in the store, they'd be like, yo. Or the one-third Roll-On that actually lasts four months and you just sell it for two for five? Or the ounce Roll-On that lasts you actually a whole year if you use it well and you sell it for only $10? People be like, you know, what's the catch? The same fragrances, uh, Polo, Supreme Leather, that you can get from the stores, they got it in the oils. That that bottle is $100, but you sell it for $5, $3? To $239 Creed Aventus in Macy's. But you get it in the oil, the dram size, for $3. That don't make sense, and that's the reason why this, uh, for the guys who sell on oils retail, the, you know, the money is so dry, the economics is so dry. Because you got people who is selling them dirt cheap, pretty much letting all of that rain come on their end. They trying to get all the rain and all the other places they drought. And they don't care about anybody else. They don't care about whether they get sales or not. They just care about whether they get to sell. Let's all eat, man. Let's all eat. You know, it's, a, it's enough money out here for everybody. If you sell them at a good price, $5, everybody can eat. It's enough money out here for everybody. And people won't have to... Try to undercut people. And that's the actually, that's the reason why I started to create my own blends. You know, ladies night out. Um, this one right here that you see right now, you know, which is um, Taste of Pleasure, African House Blessings, uh, 360 Waves Lay, which is a fragrance in respect to the guys that got waves. Peppermint Swag, which is a masculine, like uh, Peppermint Smell. My top seller right here, Sexy and Pink for the ladies. You know, the baby powder on 24s. When I first made this, I sold out that same day. That's for the guys. Exotic shea butter. Uh, unisex fragrance. Crush on Egyptian musk right now. Unisex fragrance. You know, uh, purple swag. Purple hijab swag. That's a fragrance for the ladies right there. Uh, halal bankroll. And, you know, the list goes on. You know, and, you know, that's the reason why I created these fragrances. Fresh out the shower. Created these fragrances because uh, this is my top seller right there, light hypnotic light purple right there. That's my top seller for the men. So that's the, that's the whole reason why I created my own little blends because to destroy the competition, you know. Because the only way you're going to get this fragrance is to, you know, pretty much get it from me, and that's pretty much it, y'all.